What's going on YouTube? Ollie Dope checking in once again. Hey. We're introducing a new series on the channel. This series we're gonna be talking about trending fonts for designers. This episode, we're gonna go into sans serif fonts. Some of my top sans serif fonts that I love to use. Now, if you don't know already, serif, sans serif fonts are the fonts that are without serif. So sans means without. So serif means the little ticks on the end, like Times New Roman, those are serious looking fonts. Sans serif would be something like Helvetica, Arial, something like that. So we're gonna get into it and follow along. Hope y'all like it. Let's get to it. All right, so first one up is gonna be Compacta. This is one of my go-to fonts for most cover arts and most of my movie poster designs. Now with Compacta, it's a bold and tall font. It doesn't take up too much space, so it takes up pretty good space, as you can see here. It's like different variations that you can get um, and weights that you can get. They have Compacta Bold, Light, different font families like a whole bunch of them um also i like this font because it doesn't take away from the main image it, you can kind of manipulate it with just dis different displacements stuff like that you can throw a highlight or an um an outer glow or an outline on it and it can still take up the same amount of good space it also just gives movie poster vibes every time i use this font so compact is definitely one of those go-to fonts i love this font Second font is going to be Monument, Monument Extended. Uh, this is one of my go-to fonts, once again, for all my like small subtext for my cover arts, for my movie posters, things like that. Now, the reason why I like Monument is because, look at it, it just doesn't take up a lot of space. With this particular font, it's five weights that you can buy. You get one for free personal use. Um, I just bought it because, you know, I use it a lot. It's only 30 bucks for a lifetime of use, which is beneficial. But other than that, it's good if you have like a wordy title or something like that. You can space and current it really well. It just works really well. And it's very modern. Um, I think on Behance, if you look on the trending page, like I feel like a lot of people use this font for that. Like it's like some sort of 3D effect with the outlines you see it everywhere it's a real trendy type of design like right here it's like a trendy design that everybody's doing that they use this font for so yeah one of my go-to fonts monument next up on the list is coco goose i definitely love coco goose i've had this one for a while now, I don't think this is a just a free font. I think you definitely have to pay for it because they have hundreds or at least 80 different weight styles for this particular font. But I'm gonna link, link down below the personal free use one so you can at least try it out and see how you like it. But I like the Coco Goose for, it's good for fashion, club fire, flyers. Um, it's not too harsh, it's like round. It just gives me like a nice calm energy. It gives like it's happy, but it's not so serious. Versatile in your usability. You can use it on kids stuff. You can use it on social media stuff. You can use it on music. I definitely think this is a universal uh, style of font. Alrighty. For the very famous Dirk wide i feel like everybody has either used this in their top fonts or used this on some sort of design in 2021 2020 2019 like if you haven't i don't know if you do that design because it's just the has been the go-to font uh it's just good for everything um it's a very popular font you i tell you before you probably already seen it on a cover or something like that I think it's very trendy because of the different weight styles that it has to create that um, that trendy poster design with like this stretch type of fonts. It's easy to manipulate in Illustrator, things like that. Um, once again, once one of my go-tos, like this is in my arsenal. I love Dirk Y. It just goes with everything. Music, fashion, anything that you could think of. Like 
Dirk Wide is one. It, it even worked good with golf and like horror type stuff too. Just how you work it. All right. This is a sleeper here. Flexo. It's a definitely a geometric like tech calm sans serif type of font. I would use this if I was doing something that was tech based or, you know, something that was like humanitarianism or something like that. Like something that was like earthly, like clean climate type thing. I use Flexo, as you can see, Flexo heavy all the time, but the whole Flexo family is pretty cool. I'll definitely put the link in the bio for the, the free personal use download. Um, but yeah, it's round edges. It's not too harsh. Like it just gives happy, but serious. Once again, one of those sleeper fonts, man. Uh, definitely check it out. Try it out. Let me know what you think. I really hope y'all liked that video, man. First episode in the series, man. And don't forget to comment, please like and subscribe share the knowledge let me know what other fonts y'all want me to review or some of y'all favorite fonts comment below let me know and until next time keep hustling keep creating keep learning baby i'll be checking out man and if you like this episode check out some of the fonts and how i use them in some of my previous tutorials right here